Well, how do you do, Buckaroos? Hang on my patio. I just fired up my grill. Uh, well, I just you know, started the coals in the, uh, the chimney there. But anyways, uh, then I'd sit out back and have a cocktail. starting to chill down. It's probably still in the mid to high 60s here. But we're starting to feel like fall weather. I'm working on my American-born moonshine. It's 103 proof. I tried something with a cocktail here. Got my ice ball in there, as you can see. And I'm using some LaCroix grapefruit sparkling water. This is unsweetened, so what you really get is just kind of that that light grapefruit kind of citrus mixed with this and I've, I've been drinking it uh, all week to be honest with you because it really hit the spot so oh yeah babe yes I'm using a plastic cap don't harangue me yeah <laughs> uh, there's a couple reasons for it though uh, mostly because uh, I'm lazy our dishwasher crapped out about a week ago so I've been avoiding dirtying glasses when I can help it. Uh, the other part to that is, well, uh, you know, it is moonshine after all. <laughs> In lieu of a Dixie cup, I'm using a plastic cup. I have enjoyed this. I bought two two kinds of it. Uh, the American Board Moonshine Original is 103 proof. And I also picked up the, the, the sweet tea flavored, which was interesting as well. I believe it was... 83 proof if I remember correctly. It was nice. Um, you know for a long time I didn't really understand white whiskeys. I still think they're rather overpriced. This one was about 20 and they, they tend to range anywhere from 20 to 30 dollars a bottle which seems high to me for an unaged spirit but I guess I'm starting to understand why. There, There is a certain uh, um, oh what's the word I'm looking for? I mean Oh, I forgot where I was trying to go with that. But I mean, um, hmm. There certainly is a skill to doing a whiskey like this to make it drinkable. There are some very harsh ones on the market that might go over a tad less. Um, as uh, I've, I've now done several, I've got a couple that are kind of my favorites. I really like the malt whiskey um, from uh, Crown Valley. They do a beautiful one. This one I, I'm really enjoying as well. Um, Rock Town makes some great stuff, uh, but there's 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 getting to be a bunch of them out there. Kind of like this one because of the the jar. It's got this nice little jar. A lot of them come with a jar, but this one's got that little spout on the jar. So I'm going to reuse these babies. I don't know. I, I may age some of my own whiskey in one of these jars. Uh, I, most likely just make some iced tea and use it because they're handy but anyways hey i don't want to run long i'm having a refreshing cocktail it's, it's nice again I, you don't have any sweetness in here because it's not sweetened in any way so it's almost like a seltzer water but it's got this light grapefruit uh, citrus flavor to it so this time to beer whisper and i'll talk to you later